Hey everybody, I'm Bill. Welcome back to Big Old Bill's Barbecue. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and the bell icon so you can be updated whenever we post a new video. Alright folks, we're back. We're going to be making some savory and spicy meatballs today. Let's get to it. To start off, what we're going to do is cut our ground beef in half so we can make half and half savory and spicy. So we're going to throw in the bowl and get it ready to add our ingredients. We're going to start off, we cut up a whole onion, and we're going to take about half of that onion and mix it into our ground beef. Okay, those onions are mixed into our ground beef really well. Now we're going to take our garlic powder, and we're going to sprinkle in as much as you want to taste. There's no right or wrong answer here, it's just as much as you desire. Next up, we're going to add some of our Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Rub. Okay, this stuff is really savory. We like it a lot. So we're going to put quite a bit of it into our meatball mix. Okay, again, this is up to you. You can put whatever seasoning you want, but we're going with a savory one, so we're hitting it with the Kinder's. Once we get that buttery steak rub mixed in, to our ground beef perfectly. We're going to go on with our uh, sugar-free steak sauce. This whole ingredients list is a sugar-free one. Uh, this really helps with a low-carb, low-sugar diet. We're going to use this steak sauce to add in some moisture so that way when we smoke these they stay nice and juicy. All right, now that we have all of our ingredients mixed into our ground beef, what we're going to do is take the take a little handful of the meat, roll it around in our hands, and just make a perfect little ball, just like that. Okay, we're doing this since we already have the meat prepared. We'll make all of our uh, meatballs in one shot, and then we'll go on to our spicy meatball recipe and do the exact same thing. All right, round two. We have that other half of our onion still sitting in the bowl. We're going to dump it into our ground beef. And then we're going to take our garlic powder and pour quite a bit of it into our ground beef mix. Next up, we're going to take our Pepper Palace Jalapeno Salt. Now this stuff is quite salty, so we put a bit of it in there, not too much. We have our blackened seasoning from Pepper Palace. It was stubborn, it did not want to come out of that shaker, so we had to really give it a good shaking. And last but not least, our good old fashioned Trailer Park Boys Decent Hot Sauce. And just like in the last video, we had our wonderful guest appearance from my fiance helping me open the bottle to our Trailer Park Boys hot sauce. Okay, we poured what was left of our bottle into this ground beef mix. And then we just gave it a good mixing. Okay, just mixed it up till all those ingredients were all evenly distributed throughout the ground beef. Alright, now that everything's pretty well evenly distributed throughout the ground beef, we're going to move on to making our spicy meatballs. Just like with our savory meatballs, we're going to take a small handful of this ground beef, roll it around in our hands, and make a perfect little ball. You might even want to squeeze it together, just so that way it stays tight together. Once you get that oh-so-recognizable shape of a meatball, you're going to go to town and make the rest of your meatballs out of that ground beef.
All right, we want to make sure our pit is sitting at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it is steadily sitting at that temperature, we want to throw our two racks of meatballs into the offset smoker. Okay, as far away from the heat source as possible so that way we don't get any burn. For this smoke, we're using applewood chunks. And we'll see you back here in about two hours. Check on these meatballs. All right, it's been two hours at 250 degrees sitting in the applewood smoke. These meatballs look phenomenal. The color on them couldn't have asked for a better smoke. They look tremendous. Let's take these inside and get a better look. Okay, so on our right we have our spicy meatballs and on our left we have the savory ones. When we take a closer look at these, we can really see that that liquid, the barbecue sauce that we added to these ones really made a big difference in the texture and in the juiciness of these meatballs. Same could be said for the spicy ones with the hot sauce. These things just look like they are perfect. Wow. I really wish you guys could be here to smell the aromas that are coming off these bad boys. You know I gotta get a taste of one. Let's go. Man, these look good. Oh, and they taste so much better. Look at that smoke ring. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with everything we do around here.